Hi, Mr. Tucker. T Tucker, how you doing? Uh, yeah, uh, let me introduce you to the d d new b b bartenders we got from Playboy magazine. This is c c Carolyn, and this is Colleen. Hi, Mr. Tucker. Hi, Mr. Tucker. <laughs> If you, if you think if you, if, if you think that they're pretty, wait till you see the re rest of the show, right here. Redskins after hours. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Virginia. It's the wackiest Redskins show on the face of the earth. It's Redskins After Hours. Hey, stay tuned. We got lots of laughs tonight. Our special Redskins guest, Offensive Player of the Week, Craig McEwen. Our regulars, George Stark. And from the Washington Post, Tony Kornheiser. And music from the Choir Boys. And now, strap yourself in your lazy boy. It's George Stark. Turn the motor off, George. Turn the motor off. Cool down. Why am I so happy? I don't know. This is Redskin After Hours. I'm George Stark, Tony Kornheiser, Andy Ockershausen, not to be confused with Ernie Ockershausen. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. The Redskins are not playing well. Why am I in a good mood? Who the heck knows? Tony Kornheiser, Andy, want to talk about the Chicago game? I think we should talk a little Let's bit about it. Let's jump into it. it. Let's jump right into it. it. I think it was one of those examples. Last year, the, when the Redskins won the Super Bowl, the last half of the season, about five different times, they came alive in the second half. They won big games. This time they had Chicago at 20 to 7. Rippin had come in off the bench and looked real good. Three series in a row, Rippin threw interceptions. They were out of the game. It's he not threw the same team. Because Richard Dent was in his face. It's not the same team All as it afternoon. was last year. Absolutely. Well, not. Wait, wait. I, I, I can see, but I have to jump in anyway. Uh, Rippin didn't. I thought. You got to explain where Wysocki is. I'm Wysocki tonight. Pete Wysocki is not with us tonight. I am, for those of you who watched this show before, know. I'm not P.Y. Saki. I'm too tall to be P.Y. Saki. You're, be you're better looking than he is. Oh, I wouldn't have said that, but I the would fact say it. This is P.Y. Saki's representative tonight. Pete's in Detroit with his mom, who's not feeling well. I think we should think a good thought about his mom for a second. Well Move done. on with the show. But uh, you're going to jump in. You're Richard tell Dent, us uh, I thought, played an average game. Lachey, I didn't think, played a good game. I wish he was here tonight. Average game for Richard Dent. Who is average game for Richard Dent. A real force. Yeah. I, I thought Lachey did not play a great game. The Redskins lack intensity on the offensive line, which is what I know most about. Tony, and, uh, you know, with George, you know really you have to say, you, you know, we got to probably forget Chicago and talk about San Francisco because that game well, was San a Francisco, horror. San Francisco is in a situation where they're much like the Redskins. They're both six and five. They're both going south. Absolutely. They're both having bad years, and they both the teams with quarterback problems, it seems. Walsh has pulled Montana a few times. That both of them have two excellent quarterbacks. That's an interesting Absolutely. point. Both of them have two excellent quarterbacks. I mean, Rip's probably what? 110 on the quarterback scale of, you know. Well, I don't know. I mean, if he has three more well, games where he throws four well, interceptions at a shot, he's going to have a rating lower than George, you, you, you also down. have to recognize what a very, very difficult spot to go into San Francisco on a Monday night, a home game for the 49ers in a very much must win situation for both teams well, for both teams sure 49ers at home are a very good football team in candlestick 49ers well, haven't been a good football team this year not this year 49ers and the Redskins are very similar they both going into this year if, if Tony Kornheiser had said to me who do I think are the teams of the of the of the 89 season I said San Francisco and the Redskins are the two best teams in the league they both are very similar in that they're struggling they both have two good quarterbacks they have excellent teams, they're just not playing well. Why? If I they knew that, I'd probably cats. be the head coach. Yeah, Roger they? Craig and Kelvin Bryant. Right, I mean, they really, very much alike. Teams Good look point. like one another. They do. And uh, uh, to use an old George Allen phrase, if I, if I may, if you're not playing well, it's good to go on the road. The Redskins aren't playing well. Better than be booted home. Go to San Francisco. At least they won't boo you. They cheer for you when you have a bad day. Well, let's, let's talk about the game and what it means. Do you think that... Do you think that the Redskins have to win them all from now on to make oh, the playoffs? Absolutely. I don't know. I think 10 and 6 is going to get a team I in. Think, I think you're wrong. I think, well, you could be right. I think the way the Redskins have to look at it is they've got to win everything, which, of course, is how they looked at going to the Chicago game. Yeah. And you're constantly always adjusting your parameters as the season goes on. But regardless, they, if they can't beat San Francisco, the question George, is... George, it's more than the, the Chicago player? game. It's how badly that they played in the Chicago game in a very much must-win situation. They were not in the ball game. It was a flurry there, Two maybe. Two times in three weeks. 
Houston, but Houston, Houston the same way. Houston blew them out. Yeah, Houston and, 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 and the be? Bears blew them out. But you know, the they, difference is, Joni, the Bears blew them out at home on grass, well, where Houston did it down there. There's that something dome. to think about, and that's the Redskins' defense, which has always been quite good. Maybe not great, but quite good. Now has yielded 270 Nine points. Existing. Second, I, I think they're 26th in the league Absolutely. and giving up points. Well, but, but, but defense and offense. offense. But defense and offense go together. And if your offense has a good day, your defense tends to have a good day because your offense keeps the defense off the field. They, uh, I, once again, I'm the most critical of the offensive line because they were very poor. And they are the mainstay of the Redskins team. We're going to talk more about it. Right. We have Craig McEwen with us tonight, who may be rocking and rolling, doing a duck walk, like I used to do when I was a young kid. We'll go on to our next segment. Craig McEwen, we're out of here, okay? There's a Ford deal. He's going nuts. <laughs>